Welcome to Birthday Cakes. In this lesson, I'm learning to use multiplication to find a fraction of a set. Let's start with this question here. Um, there are four people at a birthday party, and at that birthday party there is a cake which has got 20 candles uh, evenly shared around that cake. So I'd like to work out how many candles each person will get. Well I can write that like this. I want to find out what one quarter of 20 will be. The 20 are the 20 candles, the 4 are the 4 people who have to share the cake, and I've got 1 up here because I'm interested in how many candles one person will get. Let's start by uh, imagining what this cake looks like. So there's my cake and it's cut into four even pieces which uh, get shared between the four people. And on these pieces, or on the whole cake, there's 20 candles. So I'm thinking to myself, four, because there's four pieces, times what will give me all those 20 candles? And I know that four times five equals 20, and I can check that, so I put 5 on here, 5 here, 5 here, and 5 here, and add them all up, 5, 10, 15, 20, you can see that I've used up all the candles, and I've got an even amount in each of these quarters. So the answer to 1 quarter of 20 is 5, each person will get 5 candles. Now let's try another question, uh, at another birthday party there are 3 people, we have to share a cake, and on that ca cake there are 15 candles which are evenly shared around it. And again, I'm interested in how many candles one person will get. So I can write that like this. What is one third of 15? The 15 here are the 15 candles. The denominator, which, has, which is a 3, is there because there are 3 people, and the numerator up the top, which is a 1, uh, is there because I'm interested in how many uh, candles one person will get. So let's draw a picture of what that looks like. Here is my cake, and I'm going to try and cut it into thirds as best as I can. There we go, so we've got 3 even pieces there. So now I'm going to use my multiplication facts to help me answer this question. There are three pieces, so I'm thinking 3 times what will equal the 15 candles? And I know 3 times 5 equals 15, and I can check that like I did before. If I put 5 candles in here, in there, and in here, I've got 5, 10, 15. Yes, that's all the uh, candles shared out. So you can see that 1 third of 15 must equal 5. Let's just see what happens if I change this question a little bit. Instead of thinking about one-third, this time I'm going to think about what two-thirds of 15. So 15 is still here because I'm talking about the 15 candles. The denominator, which is the 3, is still there because I'm talking about three people who the candles need to be shed between. But this time, I'm not interested in how many candles one person gets, I'm interested in how many candles two people get. So I'm saying, what is two-thirds of 15? Well up here we worked out that one-third is five, so two-thirds must be twice as much. So the answer must be ten. And we can check that on our picture. Two-thirds would be this one here and this one here. And if I add those together, I get ten. Now let's try uh, one last question. Uh, this time uh, there's a party, there's four people there, and at this party there are 16 candles which are evenly shared around the cake. But this time I'm interested in how many candles three people will get. So I can write that like this. What is three quarters of 16? The 16 is here, because I'm talking about the 16 candles. The 4 is here in the denominator spot, because I'm talking about 4 people. That's how many uh, people are at this party. And the numerator here is a 3, and that's because I'm interested in how many candles will 3 people get. Let's start by drawing a picture over here. Here's my cake, 
and I need to split it into four pieces. But remember this time I'm going to be interested in how many candles are in three of those pieces. So just to remind me, I'm just going to put a little star there next to one of those quarters, a little star here next to a second quarter, and a little star here next to my third quarter. So the easiest way to do this is let's work out how many candles there'll be on one quarter. And we do that exactly the same way as we've done all the other ones. So I say 4 times what would equal those 16 candles. And I've got 4 because there's 4 pieces of cake here. So I know that 4 times 4 equals 16. And I can check that by putting them on here. Four 4, 4, and 4, and you can see there's an even amount in each quarter, and if I add these 4s together, I get 16. But remember, my answer over here isn't going to be 4, because I'm not interested in 1 quarter, I'm interested in 3 quarters. So, if there's 4 in 1 quarter, then in 2 quarters there are 8, and in 3 quarters there are 12. So, 3 quarters of 16 is 12. I hope you found this lesson helpful. For the second part of Birthday Cakes and other lessons, uh, check out teachertools.co.nz.